Hey guys, it's Hannah here and today I'm back with my end of February update for my hashtag team project pan 2022. Let's get into it. I have some good progress on quite a few things. So I'm really excited to share with you this month's update. The thing I don't have progress on though is my Be Becca Velvet Blurring Primer Perfecting Base. If you saw my last video, which was my makeup basket update, I mentioned that I haven't been using this because it just has been too hot and the heat is not going away this week, it's going to be awful, but hopefully we're in autumn officially. So I'm hoping that we're going to start to cool down soon and I'll be able to wear this again. So far that hasn't been the case, but we'll see what happens. So it was 62 grams, it's now 61 grams. Uh, my Too Faced Peach Perfect Cooling Comfort Matte, not cooling matte, Comfort Matte Foundation is officially finished. Um, it's really nice to finally see this done because I have, a, pretty sure I still have one in my backup drawer. I really love this stuff. When they were discontinuing it, I bought it. Backup's quite cheap. Um, I really like it as an everyday foundation. It's great. But what I'm going to be trading in is the Fenty Beauty Ease Drops. I have the shade 1. It is too light for me. Today I have it mixed in with my One Size Turn Up The Base Triple B Cream. But that's only slightly too dark for me. So when I'm trying to darken this up, it's not super great. So I'm going to try it with my um, Ultra 3 Darkening Drops and see if that helps to just get the colour a bit right because on its own it's far too light which makes it look dry. I find if something is too fair it looks dry on my oily skin which is really ridiculous. Um, but I'm liking how it's looking. I will mix it in with a triple B and have it slightly lighter if I don't like it with the darkening drops because I currently really like how my base looks. Um, yeah, so it is currently 45 grams it feels super light um but i know i haven't used a whole lot of it so i think it'll last me a while concealer the jue essential high coverage concealer you can see the scrapes around the side i cannot easily get product out i tried to remove the stopper and i couldn't because it's in there really weird so i'm calling it done i don't love it enough to break things to get the stopper out because the stopper looks ridiculous. So what I'm going to be rotating in is the Dior Skin Forever Skin Correct Concealer in Zero N. It is currently 49 grams. And as I said, I marked the Jouer. And when I marked the Jouer, it was like looked up to here. But that was like two months ago. And that's definitely not how much concealer I've used. So I'm not going to mark this. I am just going to weigh it. Even though the weight's probably going to go pretty quickly. Like very slowly. Um... It's just really hard with concealer products where they get stuck at the top and stuck on the edges, particularly with a thicker concealer. So that's what I'm using there. My Charlotte Tilbury powder, last month it was 60 grams and this month we have pan. Um, I am still only using this under my eyes. Um, I could probably use it to set my face if it <laughs> cools down enough. Um, with that foundation because this does slightly deepen things up but I have pan I'm gonna take a photo of the pan and we're gonna go via pan for the rest of it I still say I probably have a couple of months left in it particularly if I'm only using it under my eyes but hopefully as I said it'll cool down and I won't be as oily and I might be able to use it on my face so there's that uh, brows I hope you better believe that I absolutely finished this brow pencil off. The Benefit Press Life of My Brow is finally finished after a year of panning. So I thought I'd do a smart thing and throw in my other Benefit brow pencil. This is my Goof Proof, which if you see is much thicker in product. But I also haven't had my brows done properly all year. I might have got them done in January. Uh, but I haven't had my brows professionally done. I've just been keeping them myself 
maintaining them myself. So I have been using this to fill them in. So I have actually been going through it. Um, I have this much product to go through and if this was last year this would take me more than a year because that's how long it took me to go with my goof proof. Not goof proof, precisely my brow. But I have a backup precisely my brow and a mini one. So I need to go through these pencils. I have opened my NYX Stick It Stick It Bra Gel. Um, and I definitely think this is going to be fantastic when my brows are actually really good. But I don't know when I'm going to get them done. So I'm going to get the progress on the Goof Proof while I can. Eyeliner. I also finished my Marc Jacobs Blackberry. I just... I found it really easy for me to just um, tight line in between my lashes with this and I've actually really loved the look of it. So what I've done is I've rolled in my NARS Via Appia um, pencil which is a bronzy shade and I'm just doing the same thing. I'm just um, tight lining between my lashes and it's just making my lash line look so much fuller and I'm loving it. Um, NARS I can actually track on pencil because I can roll it up and roll it down. Now I think this is still going to take me a while, but I'm really glad that I found a way for me to go through my pencil liners because I haven't been going through them. Otherwise, and I'm just loving it. So I'm going to stick on this train as long as we can. Tried and true, this is going to take me ages. This is my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Magnetic pink. I still have this much to go, so it is still going to take me most of the year, I'd say. But that's okay. I am getting some progress. If we have a look here, it was actually quite a bit of progress this month. Um, the month of February was the month I started full-time work for the whole month, so I've been wearing a lot more makeup. So I've been wearing these products a lot more, which is why I've been going able to go through them. So, Following that, I probably have about four or five months left, which will be nice because I have lots more cream shadows to work my way through as well. Uh, lip balm, I finished my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, which I did say I was going to do at the end of last month. And what I've rotated in is the Fenty Plush Pudding Intensive Recovery Lip Mask. Oh my goodness, I've only been using this for a couple of days, but this stuff is so thick and so luxe on your lips. It is amazing. I am loving it. It is currently 37 grams and I am not going to be sad, like, I'm going to be, I think I'm going to be sad to see it go because I'm loving this stuff. And then my Marc Jacobs Primrose. I've had this much progress. Again, I'm wearing this every day either lining or fully, fully in, filling in my lips. So this is something I definitely can see myself going through. And again, the next four or five months, maybe a little bit sooner on that one. So that's my face products, my makeup products. Let's get into skincare. The Kaja Mist Me Mist. I can finally see it down the bottom. I really hope that this is done by next month because this is frustrating me to no end with its stupid mister. I would not recommend this at all, but I'm going to use it up. Last month it was 74 grams. This month it's 60 grams. That means I've gone through 20 grams in total. Um, and like it's down here. So like I'm thinking I'll be really hoping to get through this <laughs> by the end of March because it's frustrating me to no end. I finished off my Bobbi Brown make, um, oil cleanser, were well, we surprised, um, didn't have a lot in it, um, that's why I pulled it out of my uh, skincare bag, but back to good old pharmacy, as we know I will be working through pharmacy for the rest of the year, just like I did last year, pharmacy green clean, this is the strawberry basil, I can't smell the basil, but oh my goodness, this strawberry scent is divine, it's currently 78 grams, if I look back at last year, my pharmacy cleanses. Huh, so 73 grams, and then I would be finished the next time around. So maybe I'll have this finished. If not, I won't be far off. 
we'll see. If we do look inside, there is, I am like past the halfway mark, so I do think I might be able to finish this um, in the next month. We'll see how we go. Uh, what is next? Serums. Finally finished my pharmacy vitamin C serum. The other thing with wearing lots of makeup is lots of removal of makeup. So making sure I'm doing my actual skincare routine. So what I'm going to rotate in is the Paula's Choice Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum with Vitamin C. Um, I've really been focusing on the hyperpigmentation that I've got right here and right here um, and how I can best treat that besides I'm obviously using my SPF. But that is some damage uh, from last year where I sat at work was right near a glass window and I would get right here would get a lot of sun and I wasn't using my SPF anywhere near as religiously as I have been um, which is interesting because that's the opposite side most people I mean car you would get it this side but that's how I know that's where I got it from um, so I'm just really aware of it and really kind of try to target it so vitamin C is the way to do it so try and use this up. This is going to take me forever. It's 98 grams. It's a full 30 mil product, right? So I don't expect it to go by anytime soon, but I'm trying to focus on vitamin C to brighten those areas. Oh, I didn't get my Versa eye cream. It's still going strong. It was 17 grams. It's now down to 16 grams. It's going to be the bane of my existence, this eye cream, but we'll get it done. Also the bane of my existence is Sol de Janeiro, which could have used this in a single use, but I didn't. It will be gone next month. I will use it. It went from 41 to 24 grams, so I did use it last month, but just I was like one use off. And then finally, also will be finished next month, is my Nature Lab Perfect Repair Leave-In Treatment right down at the bottom here. That's how much progress I made last month, so it'll definitely be gone soon. Was 46 grams, now 31 grams. So, I should definitely have two products finished, possibly four next month, which is really exciting. I had lots finished this month, which was amazing. Really enjoying seeing progress on my products and making my way through what I own. If you guys enjoyed, please give this a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments down below how you are going with your projects. Um, and click subscribe to stay tuned for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.